All right, in 12th place, we got none other than Roly Winkler. Look at this guy, man. When I see this guy, I'm like, oh my gosh, this dude is a mass monster. Huge, man, everywhere. Traps are huge. A every part of his body, including the man's head, are huge. But I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed. Last year, Roly came in so much better condition. I would say, man, last year, Roly looked like a top five Mr. Olympia contender, if not a top three Mr. Olympia contender. He was conditioned. He had size. He's got aesthetics. He looked insane last year. This year, okay, I see. He's got so much more size. He's huge, but what? What happened? He played the size game. He did. He definitely played the size game. He's lacking conditioning. He's lacking separation blurry everywhere just i'm glad he came in way bigger i don't i really don't know maybe something happened to his diet i'm not sure insanely full this dude just his body his muscles literally hoarded every single water holding carbohydrate it possibly could just fill to the brim man if this guy hear me out hear me out you can mark this mark this down all right no grab you a pen and mark it down if this dude can come in with this same size and shape with some serious serious conditioning this dude is going to be a serious threat to phil heath Kai Green and all the rest of them. Now let's go to this next pose. Now, keep in mind, this dude is humongous. I know he's got big obliques. They kind of shoot off to the side, but probably, honestly speaking, in my view, one of the best ab shots thus far. You can actually see ab muscles. You can see abdominal muscles. Quads are just absolutely humongous. Huge, everywhere, huge legs. Check this out, his back full, it's thick, it's wide. Good calf development for as high as this guy's calves are, to be that developed is amazing. You can't tell his erectors need to catch up to the rest of his back. All right, hey, next pose, check it out. Insane arm size. Dude, That's that's a this is a Mr. Olympia looking front double bicep. His arms are massive, but you can tell how unconditioned this man is. His legs are almost so huge that they're bloated, they're blurry, they're watery. This is one of Roly's best poses, and if he's conditioned, you will see how clear it is that this guy is a top Mr. Olympia contending threat. Grandma, by the way, should be proud of this pose because he's huge, right? He looks good. Aesthetic, everything. For as big as this guy is, you have to admit, he's aesthetic. He's proportionate. Just needs that conditioning. Next pose, man. You can see here the underdevelopment of his lower back that I was talking about previously. Love how his hamstrings just hang out there. Huge hamstring development. Last pose for Roly here. I don't think he executed this pose very well. I don't. I feel like he kind of hid his chest. He kind of hits his pose like Kai Green, to be honest with you. I'm not sure why he does that, because he's got so much mass. I would have maybe put my arm a little bit lower, put my elbow a little bit back further. That's just me. I kind of feel like he hit his chest a little bit. This guy, you will notice, literally, Roly wrote the book on the glute hamstring tie-in. Again, amazing physique. Let's see what he has next year. All right, man, 11th place, Johnny Jackson. Now, I like Johnny. He works hard. He's a power lifter, trying to do two sports at the same time, power lifting and bodybuilding. It's not always the easiest thing. Johnny's a fighter, man. He's been fighting his game, boy, a long time. I definitely would not have placed him higher than Roly. I think he got a gift, to be honest with you, man. I He shouldn't have placed higher than Roly. Roly is aesthetic. He's way bigger, and they almost had the same conditioning, to be honest with you. I don't see Johnny Jackson's physique as being very symmetrical. I don't see his physique as being very aesthetic. He's got some major imbalances in his physique, mainly from the waist down. Now, from the front here, man, you can see some feathering in his legs. Um, you know, looks like some, some striations there, but they, they just don't match his upper body. His quad sweep is definitely not there. That outer quad sweep. Calves are very small, probably because they're just very, very high. Um, you can see, you know, these just big imbalances between upper body and lower body. Now, next pose. This to me would be Johnny Jackson's best pose. Very high traps, huge round chest. I saw a video with Johnny Jackson where he was just doing close-ups on his chest. One of the best chests in IFBB Pro bodybuilding. Seriously, round is 
thick everything, man. All right, next pose. This is exactly the pose I'm talking about that confirms why I don't think, no way he should have placed higher than Roly. He's totally soft from the rear. There's no separation, there's no detail. Back is huge. Don't get me wrong, probably size-wise, one of the best backs in Mr. Olympia. Size-wise, it's huge, massive, thick, wide, but you can see so much water holding in his lower back. Again, Olympia size back, lower back is thick as heck. You can see this man is a deadlifter. You can see he's a power lifter. That lower back just screams. But sadly, if you go down further, you're gonna see his calves are almost non-existent. Last post for Johnny here. Check this out. Hey, for a power lifter, you have to admit, these are actually some pretty tight abs for a high caliber, high profile, uh, record-breaking power lifter. But uh, you know, Johnny, I know he's getting older. You know, he's he would really have to do some really incredible things to start placing higher and higher. But hats off, at his age, 11th place at Mr. Olympia is a phenomenal placing.